welcome back to another episode of Learning with Qua. Today is Sunday Fun Day, and today we are going to be going into our Boxy Charm base box. And in today's base box, we have got an iconic London palette, which looks like this. We've got some face cleaning hemp wipes. We've got some setting powder from Ciate that smells like coconut. Got some sponges from Luxie Beauty. And also we got some Laura Geller Laura Geller Gilded Highlighter. Woo! -hoo. So if you want to see how I created this look, please stay and continue watching. Um, sorry for all my weirdness and everything. It's just who I am. So anyways, uh, I hope you have a great day. Hope it's your Sunday fun day. This is my going to brunch look today, actually. So hopefully it's not too uh, out there. Anyways, uh, I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you again. Hello, hello! Welcome back to another episode of Learning with Qua. Today we are going to be doing our Boxy Charm base box. And if you're wondering why I have makeup on already, this is from my other video for Melt Cosmetics. This is literally the day after I slept in this and everything. Like a bad person, you should not do that. But I wanted to see how. One of the items in my box would work. So that's why I partially did that. So without further ado, let's see what's in here. Oh. Okay, so I had grabbed the wrong box and now I went and grabbed the right box. So, Boxy Charm Base Box. Yay! So it came all nice and bubble wrapped so that way we could uh, have everything be all nice and safe. But, so we got these EVO Skin Aura Refreshing Cleansing Hemp Wipes. So we're going to use this to freaking clean off our face. We got some Ciate Everyday Vacay uh, Powder. So that way it's setting powder. Ah. So looks like this. Supposed to smell like coconut. Let's see. Oh, it's sealed. So look, see? I can throw it and it's not going to do anything. No, I'm not going to do that once it's open though. Because that's a terrible thing. Um, so we got that. We got this Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. So, ah! Oh, look. I touched it. Not meaning to flip you off, but you can see the little glow already and then barely tapped it. Um, da -da. we got this uh, Luxie Complete Sponge Set for baked contour and detail. So we got three different sizes and everything. Try these out. And last, but certainly, not, certainly not least, this is what I chose for my Boxy Charm choice. So I chose the Iconic London Day to Slay eyeshadow palette. And so basically comes with a nice big mirror as you see. And let's get this little plastic out of there. This is what the palette looks like. So we're gonna create a brunch look this Sunday morning before I go to brunch. And hopefully everything comes out great. So let us put this back in here real quick and let's see how these uh, cleaning wipes actually work because there's a whole reason I didn't take my makeup off last night because I didn't make this video last night so I wanted to make sure so basically it opens up like this Ooh, nice strong packaging comes out Ooh, I really like this packaging. 
Okay, let's see how this looks now. Ooh, look at that. It's all nice and a little bub. Okay, let's take off our makeup. Ah. We're doing good. Okay, so this is waterproof eyeliner and mascara and setting spray powder. Just basically full face of makeup and we're taking it off with this wipe. And I can tell you this wipe is actually really, really, really nice, so. Okay, so now that we see that these wipes actually work pretty freaking aw, I should probably keep this out, huh? So that way I can use it to like clean up stuff. So, um, <laughs> let's think about this first. So these uh, EVO Skin Aura Refreshing Cleansing Wipes. Look at me, look at this go. <laughs> I'm all pretty excited for that. Okay, so next up you want to make sure that you moisturize and everything so i'm gonna go moisturize i'm gonna do my eyebrows and primed and uh get ready to play with this palette okay well i'll see you again okay welcome back welcome back we have our eyebrows done we are moisturized and our eyes are primed uh, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to jump into this very first color over here. It's called In the Nude, and we're just going to put it all over our eyelid. And let's get going. Okay, next we're going to dip into this color called Ultimate Tan, and we're going to put this, it's going to be the start of our crease. And then you hear my rooster in the background. Okay, so next up we are going to dip into this color card called Merlot Mondays. It looks much darker in person than it does on there. Okay, next up, what we want to do is we're going to start doing our faux cut crease, and we're going to go in with Copper Me Fancy, this color right here, and we're going to put this on our lid. Eyes in the sky, gazing far, into the night, I raise my hand to the fire. 
but it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true, bigger than the light shines through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through So if you can't tell, this shade is actually a little bit more sheer. So it would be great, like, you know, an eyeshadow topper. It looks amazing on its own. But as you can see, it is a little sheer. Ain't nothing wrong with that, because we can always... We are going to brunch today, so it doesn't need to be, like, super full glam, anything like that. Just want to make sure that we look pretty in public. And then, you know, maybe one day, you know, a guy will be like, Hey, what's going on? What's your name? You want to go out on a date? But I haven't had that, so. I don't know. Yeah. But what do you guys think so far? This is, I really like, this palette is honestly a super awesome palette for, especially for like brunch. So I'm cool with that. Okay, and then, you know, just to give ourselves some uh, dimension with our eyes, I'm going to take my little angle brush and I'm going to dip into Velvet Crush right here. And we are going to put this on our outer corners and see how this looks. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we've created so far with this palette and everything. Um, I need to put some primer on. I just want to show you this before I did all that. I want to put some primer and some foundation and everything on. And then we'll come back and we will set this bad boy with one of these sponges. And we will be adding our highlighter. So stay tuned. Okay, so we have our primer, foundation, and concealer put on. So now we're going to jump into this Ciate Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. And take off this uh, uh, little packaging thing. doesn't want to come off. One. It doesn't, it doesn't help if you don't, ooh, you don't have nails. Look at all that powder on there. I think I just inhaled some of it. Ugh. And, uh, it does not smell like, uh, coconut to me. So, maybe it's just me. I don't know. So, anyway. How do you guys get the powder out when it has this little hole thing? Like, I'm scared, like, whatever. I just, I dumped it into the lid, and we're going to put it on our sponge, and we're going to, ah, uh, oh yeah. I've never really baked baked, I guess. I don't know. But. I want to show the sponge as well as the uh, as well as my brush. 
And then there's still some on there, so let's just get all of it off of the sponge. And I honestly, I really like this uh, cute little holder box. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to use it, but I like it. So, um, basically most of the product is off of there. And we're just going to take our, our powder brush and we're going to dip in and just set the rest of our face. Let's put some more powder in there. Apparently we need more. And basically this is going to help you help your makeup lock in place, I guess. We'll see. But uh, I'm pretty excited because I've been wanting to get different types of uh, setting powders to try them out and everything. And look at what I got. One of the great reasons to get... Mm. Okay. Honestly, okay, it smells like coconuts now. Now I smell the coconut. And it's delicious. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so next, before we put our palette away, and I don't even know what I did with my little brush. So we're going to have to find another little brush. One second. And I found it that fast. So we are going to go in with the into the color uh, Peach Fizz. And this is going to be our inner corner highlight. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, totally knocked my mirror. And look at how it just brightens your eye area up. And you can see the difference it makes. <laughs> Okay, enough of my silly faces. Okay, next we're gonna go in with this Laura Geller New York uh, Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey, which is this really gorgeous gold. I really like the swirl on it. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're just gonna take our highlighter brush. We're gonna... I don't know if I'm supposed to take a brush or not. Um... Let's find out. Let's try this side. Mm. Let's try our finger. Because apparently... Ooh, it works really well with your finger. Ooh. So... I guess this is going to be one of my little finger things. Okay then, so this is my completed look, and, well, actually, no, it's not complete. Hold on, I'll be back. Now this is our completed look, so tell me what you think. Do you think the BoxyCharm base box was awesome? Because I honestly do. I got the palette that I wanted. Plus, I got some awesome setting powder. I got a cool new little highlighter. Some sponges, which are always nice. And there's something else I don't remember at the moment. But, thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, tell me what you guys think of everything that was in this base box. Uh, I'm, I was happy with it, so. Anyways. Uh, be on the lookout for my other video with my Mellow Cosmetics and my future upcoming videos where it's going to be BoxyCharm Base Box versus the BoxyCharm Premium and BoxyCharm versus Ipsy. So, I will see you guys again. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and hope you have an amazing Sunday. Have a Sunday fun day.